I understand you've recently conducted some science. Why, yes. What was the name of your study? How long can a seagull hold its breath in space? Interesting. And what were your results? Inconclusive. Hello, and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we'll be drinking Coco Rico. We'll be drinking Rico. this weird drink. I don't know what the hell okay, it is. Okay, that's it's an old something. joke. Looks like 7-Up. Smells like coconut. Looks like 7-Up. Smells like tanning lotion. No, but I don't think it smells like tanning lotion. It's not that kind of coconut. It's more like a... Real coconut water. It's bubbly coconut water. Weird. But it almost has like a creamy texture when it hits your tongue. Mm. There is a little cream soda action going on. It doesn't have a lot of uh, body, I guess. Like yeah, it's sort of a really. thin. Uh, pop, but... But it is a coconut water, so what hmm. do you expect? I don't mind it, though. I bet that goes really nice with, with like, a rum. Uh -huh. Maybe. Yeah, it says here it's from Puerto Rico, and it can be used as an ingredient in cooking. Uh used to break down the protein in catfish. So there's that. Okay. Well, uh, I think Grand Champion of the Week. Uh, so that's uh, all the time we have this week for International Taste Station. Hey, I, I found another drink. Oh, thank God. Blue Monkey 100% Watermelon Juice. Well, you know that's going to be flavorful. This smells amazing. It smells like a lot of watermelon. Which is weird because usually watermelon is a really light flavor. Mm. It's still a light flavor, but that is the most watermelon I've ever tasted at one time. Reminds me of watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Watermelon Jolly Ran Rancher would be very, very faint. No, Jolly Rancher. This is a real concentration of watermelon. I'll tell you, I've made watermelon wine before, and this is far more watermelon. -y. That stuff was good. You should totally make that again. It's a lot of work. Yeah, we could do an episode. Both of them love it. Hey, our very few fans that we love, we totally love you. Comment down in the little comment section if you want us to do a video on Watermelon wine. Sure. If 50 of you do we have show up. Do we have 50 people watching this show? We'll find out, won't we? Uh, okay. Well, I do appreciate the nice man at the, the Asian market uh, giving us the Coco Rico. It was super nice. Uh, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It, it's a very light drink. If you like coconut water, you'll probably really like it. I do like coconut water. I do like it. It is a bit light in flavor as well. Yeah. But in fairness, so it's coconut water. It's coconut water. It's basically bubbly coconut water. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not a party starter. Probably a great mix. And Probably. you know, if it can break down the protein in catfish. Good for cooking, yeah. Mmm. Because, wasn't I just saying the other day when I was trying to break down the protein in catfish, I wish I had something that would help break down this protein in this here catfish. When have you ever eaten catfish? 
Well, not that day, because I couldn't break down the protein. Fair enough. Uh, so drink too. Uh, now I'm a little worried, or was a little worried. I've already had it. Um, because the can, although it, I can touch it, I can reach it, I can sense its presence. Take my word, it's at a shot. Um, it's out of focus, and that's a little worrying. I'm not used to real things being out of focus that I can otherwise comprehend. Like, I can hear it, I can touch it, I can smell it, it smells like watermelon, but it's just, it's out of focus. What's your verdict, Patrick? I think you're insane. But somehow I still just hang out with you. Taste-wise, though, uh, though it, it is rather pleasing. Oddly, or perhaps not, that the first real watermelon anything that we've had on the show... I thought it was really good. ...should taste good. the most like, uh, like watermelon. Tasted like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, and those are my favorite. Yeah. Um, and, and those of you who have had watermelon wine or that watermelon crush, you, you know what I'm saying. Usually watermelon-flavored things... Are weird. It's it's like this weird background flavor. This it's just straight up watermelon juice. Apparently they've added some vitamin C, but if we've learned anything from graduation ceremonies, you could always do with some added vitamin C. One of them will get that. So, grand champion of the week. Watermelon? Yeah. Well, there's only two to choose from. They're both good. They both represent their their uh, their source as well. But the watermelon just has a bit more power to it. It does. Chicken? Well, that's all this week, is it? That's well, that's, that's all it. this week for International Taste Station. I hope you've learned something, perhaps about breaking down the protein of catfish. So, until next time, I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. Bye. Now, the thing about catfish is if you have some and you stick it between two slices of bread, that, friend, is a catfish sandwich. You know, you know who was quite fond of a catfish sandwich was the chief engineer of a little ship called Enterprise. That's right, NX-01 Enterprise, under command of Captain Jonathan Archer. Uh, you know, fair to say a week series, so, chicken three mediocre years, the and then about half a great season, good. and then it ended. Good.